Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into a very fun and essential topic for us balloon artists, event planners, and wedding stylists who offer uh, mock-ups to our clients. Number one question that I get once people buy my mock-up bundle on Etsy, if you didn't know, I have a Etsy store with a bunch of images so you can create your mock-ups very easily. The one we'll be using today will be this one right here. For the moment, it includes 5,000 images, and you also have access to all of the updates and all of the add-ons that we add with time. We have added the most used rentals in the industry in our bundle, so you don't need to worry about it. And if ever there is a specific proper rental that you need, you can always send us the photo of your rental. We're going to edit and add it to your bundle. If you have bought a product from us, we will add instructions on how to connect your Google Drive to Canva. So you do your initial setup on your computer. And then once this initial setup is done, you can see all of the images that are included in the bundle in any device that you're logged in uh, to Canva. So I'm going to go to Google Drive right here. You will see these are my personal Google Drive folders. But if you have bought, for example, my 5,000 image template, you will have the complete bash right here. I'm going to try and use only what I have here right now. So it's not too long. This is cute. We can leave this here. So what we're going to be doing today is adding some dimension to our mockups. Okay. The images are obviously 2D. Most images are actually edited photos that we have taken and edited to make the process easier for you to create your mock-up. So we have added folders with all types of props and rentals right here. There's animals, backdrops, balloon clusters, which are these right here, balloon garlands that are already ready. So you can simply use one garland and maybe add some dimension in uh, juxtaposing them. The choice is endless. For 5,000 images, uh, you can create pretty much everything. First things first, I'm gonna change this backdrop. Let's go ahead and add a white room. We're going to look for an image that is not pro. Me, personally, I have Canva Pro, but honestly, you can do it with the free version of Canva. All of the tools I'll be showing are with the Canva free account. We're going to set this as a background. Make it a bit bigger. I don't have that window here on the side. Perfect. So now that we have our backdrop, we're going to push these a bit more in the back. And I'm going to show you how to add dimension, shading, change color of the images that are already included in the mockups that you can also, you know, yourself upload them to Canva. The first thing we're going to do is go to elements right here and we're going to write shadow. You're going to see there's many choices. The one I use the most, even if I have Canva Pro, is this one right here. I'm going to make it smaller add it underneath this B here okay you put it on top of the design or the image that you want to add the shade to and you're going to go and layer and send it backward because there are balloons in front it's sent behind the balloon first and then you do it again or you can use shortcuts when I'm editing but for the sake of the video I'm doing the right click to show you where you can click and get it done but there you have it the shadow is underneath the B Sometimes I will go ahead and use the transparency if I see that the shadow is too dark. There you go. We can go ahead, right click, copy this one, and then paste it to use it elsewhere since they're already edited in the transparency you want and all of that. And then layer then backward. So it's behind the backdrops right there. Now, there's also another way of adding a shadow to your items, and that is with the Edit Image option. You click on Edit, go right here on Shadows, and I always use the drop one. It's the one that looks the most realistic. We're going to go ahead and add that one. It's very black and very intense, so we're going to lower a bit. The distance is okay. It's not that far. And then you can choose the angle of your shadow. So we can leave it there and we can add more blur. It looks even more realistic and less intense. All right. Once that's done, you can make it a bit. So this happy birthday here, it's simply um, 
you know, a font with the effect of neon. And then here you choose the color that you want your neon to be. Right. But we also have pre-made neons uh, in our bundle there. So you can upload a font on Pro. I'm not sure if the free version you can do that. Uh, if you get custom-made neons, you can always upload the same font you used to create your neon right here. Uh, the next tip I want to show you is how to change the color of the image templates. Maybe out of the 5,000 templates that you have in your bundle that you purchased from us, you have a prop that looks the same, but it's not the same color that you need. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to click on it. I'm going to zoom in so you can see better. We're going to click on the prop. We're going to go edit image, adjust. We're going to scroll down a little bit here and you will find this color edit. Look, you can change to any color you need. And say you want a blue one, but it's not the exact blue. You can put the saturation more or less to make it more pastel. For the sake of this mock-up, which is all pink, we're going to try to match to exact the same shade as the backdrop in the back. And you will see, add a little bit of brightness, a little bit of saturation. And it's the same color, just that it has a little bit of shadow on top. But you see, you can make it any color you want. Let's try and make it the same pink as the one on the side. Okay, we're going to add more saturation. I'm going to go here. Temperature. Vibrance. More vibrance. More saturation. And we're getting there. Look, the inside is already the same color. And there you have it. Okay. So I just wanted to show you that because I know 5,000 images are a lot of images, but then again, we cannot have every single rental and every single color uh, in a bundle because there is no computer or device that will be able to take so many images. You can do that with the clusters as well, balloon clusters that, you know, maybe you're in a different country, you don't have Qualitex, you have another brand and it's not really the exact same shade. Let's say you want a pink that looks like the backdrop again. You're going to go here. And there you go. It took, what, three little swipes. And the color matches the backdrop. You can make it maybe a little less pink. All right. Um, another thing I want to show you guys. Let's make this one also. It doesn't look crazy, our mock-up at the end. You can always flip a rental. So say the shape of this cluster, for example, it's not the shape that you need you know, to put in a corner, for example. You want to flip it vertically so you can add to a corner. You can always play around with the flip option as well. You want to put it at the bottom here. All right. The size. So it's all about playing around with the tools. Um, say you have a clear balloon here. Let's unroof this. You want to make a balloon a bit more transparent. Have the transparency. You can make the balloon a little bit more transparent. A latex balloon that is a, a pearl or, you know, a clear. Depending on the country, it's different types of names. But you see, you can just play with transparency. You can go playing around with these. You can even change the color of the balloon. So once you've got your color, saturation, contrast, shadows, and highlights just right, take a step back, you know, zoom out and look at the overall image, fine tune any elements that might need a little bit more tweaking. Sometimes a small adjustment, a little shadow will make a big difference. And then lastly, obviously, don't forget to save your work. Canva allows you to export your mock-up in a bunch of formats. Choose the one that best suits your needs, if it's for social media or if it's a, for a client presentation or for your portfolio, uh, you can export by clicking on share and then download. You can choose the format you want, PNG or JPEG is usually the best for mockups. And then you can choose which pages you want to save. In this case, I would just save the current page and then download. I also want to show you an example of a mock-up that I did a few years back. 
and I didn't add any shadows to it. Even if I didn't add any shadows, because our image bundle is of real rentals that we had and that we took pictures of and we edited for you, uh, it does look realistic. But imagine I had added a shadow just like behind the Chiara, like we did in our example, around the umbrella, you know, near the balloons, you would have made it a lot more dimensional and the client would have an even better example of what their setup would look like. So with that, I hope you found these tips helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more tutorials and tips. If you have any other questions, let us know. I'm going to make sure to add in the next tutorial. Have fun designing. That's what matters most. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.